Welcome to another Web Basics short. This time, what is good for the beginner? Yeah, you know, there is, uh, there is a funny thing. Um, a lot of people think, and some people even say that, well, Indiana Jones carried a 10-footer, and so, of course, I'm, I'm starting with a 10-footer too. Good luck. It is the same thing, someone has um, his driver's license and the first car he really uses is, is a Ferrari. Is that, does that make sense to anyone out there? Anyone? I don't think so. And it's the same with the whip. A 10-footer is very long, it's very heavy and it is really, really very unforgiving. So, instead of saying, whoa, Indiana Jones carried a 10-footer, just realize what you are. You're a beginner, okay? And there is no shame to use a shorter whip. It's not that, hey, who has the longer one? No, no, it doesn't really. No, no, no. It's not that. Size does matter. Size does not matter. Trust me. The thing is, um, I think, and again, this is not I'm, uh, this is my personal belief, this is my experience, you know, over the years I gave a lot of lessons, I had a lot of students, and what I learned over the time, over the years, is that for a beginner, a whip shouldn't be shorter than six feet and not longer than, let's say, seven feet. Okay, if you insist, you can try an eight-footer, but really not, please, not longer than that. The best thing, like I said, for a beginner, six, seven foot, this is really perfect. To be honest, the whips I prefer, my whips are seven feet long, or they ought, uh, they are, <laughs> they ought, <laughs> yeah, stop laughing over there. And <laughs> they find it so funny when I make it, when, when I just make it wrong. It's, you don't want to work with these people, trust me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, back to back to the to the thing. Uh, the story is um, that you. Um, um, wait, I, I complete. What I completely lost track. <laughs> this is okay. Um, so you know, um, the whips I have are uh, six feet long, or they are seven footers. This is a length I feel really most comfortable for reps when I do demonstrations, shows. TV work, all these things. Of course, their a 10 foot is very good, but with all due respect, I'm not a beginner anymore. So, um, six, seven feet long, wonderful. But now the, the big question, what to buy in the beginning? And this is, yeah. Huh. People will tell you there is nothing better than a leather whip, a well made whip made from Ruhide and yes these Ruhide whips are really amazing they are like a fountain pen compared to a cheap ball pen the thing is um, nylon whips are simpler and cheaper than Ru whips but the nylon whip is not the cheap ball pen I was talking about here a well-made nylon whip or Dacron is fantastic, okay? And again, here we have the big differences between the, the, uh, the fountain pen and the, the, cheap, um, the cheap ball pen. Um, if you are going to buy a whip and you read somewhere, um, bull whip made from leather, handcrafted, first class quality, $99, yeah. I, I, okay, I think this gesture says it all. Sorry for that, but, you know, no, it's the same. Would any, anyone, you know, you are going to buy a car. Anyone tells you, um, hey, this is, this is an Italian sports car. It's a fantastic car. It has uh, leather seats. Everything is fantastic. Everything is top notch. And I tell you what, this fantastic car you can have for six thousand dollars 
totally new. What would you say? I think you would, you know, yeah. And it's the same with a whip. A good whip has its price. But, and now that's the big, you know, there's always a but, isn't it? Um, for the beginner, a nylon or dacron whip is a very good choice because a nylon whip is very, very forgiving in terms of the material. You should never crack a whip on concrete or on gravel or such a thing, but a lot of people do. I've seen expensive leather whips been cracked for two hours on concrete and it was nearly destroyed. Okay? You also you shouldn't crack a nylon whip on concrete. Yeah, no 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 no. But there is a higher chance that the nylon whip will survive. The rule whip will just vanish. Okay. So what I'm saying is uh, a beginner tends to use much more power than necessary for the cracks, which is totally normal because therefore it's called a beginner. And um, a nylon whip is a thing which is on one side, it's not that expensive like a rule whip. A well-made rule whip is worth the price if it is made really well, by the way, but this is another thing. Um, but again, a nylon whip is usually cheaper and it's more forgiving. And, and now the, the big aspect is this. When you say, haha, I'm started whip cracking, I've seen Indiana Jones, I've seen Zorro, I've seen whatever. And you say, I'm starting to do that now. Yeah. You're enthusiastic and then you start. You buy a whip and then after a week, maybe two weeks, you see, oh, oh no, that's not my cup of tea. Okay, so when you buy a good nylon whip, let's say between $160, $200, $180, something like that, and I'm talking about the real well-made stuff, okay? Again, I'm talking about the well-made stuff. Um, okay, then, hmm. But if you start with a rule whip and you pay something like $600, and then you discover after two weeks, uh, you know, uh, it's not my... Uh, mm, uh, hmm. Okay, if you have that much money that you just can spend it and say, oh, yeah, I don't care, then wonderful, buy a rule whip. If not, and I think these are the most, these are the most, folks, um, you really should think and start a little bit slow. Buy a six or seven foot nylon whip and you'll, you're fine. You're absolutely fine. Later on, when you are safe and when you know I am really hooked now to whip cracking and I want to to go further that way, I want to learn, I want to practice, then it's time to say, okay, now I'm going to lay my hand onto a rule whip, a well-made rule whip. But again, please don't do that as long as you're a beginner. About the length of the whip, I think I, <laughs> I said everything I had to say. Um, yeah. Just think, okay? Just think about it. Thanks for watching and cut. Yeah, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs>